What's going on you guys? This is a MexKDR, another Dell Optiplex 280. It'll be a two down. So there's a one little you have to press on the tab right here in the bottom and one at the top. And we'll slide to the right. So guys, this will be the number 52 video, two down. So what we'll do is start off from the right side. And the SATA cables. Move the three and a half inch hard drive. Here's the IDE cable. There's the optical drive. Here in the bottom right side here, this looks like a USB. Connect to the motherboard. So I'm going to remove the VD cord. This little top here, the green one, you got to press it up. So remove the VD cord, this little tab you have to secure clip. You have to press it down. So you're going to press this down right here before you move the VD cord. The, the RAM. Oh, the PCI brackets. The French route. So we're going to disconnect the CPU for pin power here in the corner. Here's the fan for the rear for the CPU. You have to disconnect. 
and there are three screws in the back that you have to remove you have to use a Phillips head screwdriver Go the other side. So there's a clip you have to press it down with the screwdriver. And power supply will slide to the right. So this is what you have to press on right here. Press it down before you pull it to the right. Now I'm gonna move the CPU heatsink cooler. It's got a clips here in the bottom green one. Same with the other side. And you take your finger and press it down gently. And you can lift up the heat sink. So right here to remove the fan with the shroud. Just press this clip and it comes right out. This should slide to the straight up, so I'll take a flathead screwdriver. There's another clip here in the top. You have to press it up. So here's the clip I'm talking about right here. This is one of the same one on the bottom here, one on the top you have to press on before you remove it. So what I'll be doing the last part is uh, I'm gonna move the motherboard. So I'm gonna pull the CPU out first. And now, I will do is you have to remove the screws here, one on the right. And it's got screws here, in the two in the top, two in the bottom. and your motherboard will slide to the right you can lift it up gently so motherboard looks like new and here's the back side and it's actually so it does look like a layer well it's an ATX motherboard So guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.